Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for March 23rd, 2020. So let's get into it here. Um, I am kind of listening out and I'm actually glad that I'm recording this with all the noise going on uh, because you know, I, I think I mentioned this in another video. I live in an apartment complex where they don't warn us about construction projects. And now there's something going on outside. <laughs> I have no idea if they started repaving the parking lot. They, they just give us no notification. So, um, we're just going to keep, keep it moving. I don't know what's going on here, but you know, we can't hold up content because of life. I mean, come on, right? We got to get the content out. So, <laughs> so again, we have Selenite spiritual awakening. This is a beautiful, story that's playing out here. And a lot of times people go into this mindset of, oh, if I spiritually awaken, all of my problems will be solved. If I spiritually awaken, then I'll be at peace. Well, your spiritual awakening, as we have discovered, see people were really in that magical thinking, sort of disempowered thinking way back in 2008, going into well into 2013, because I know when I came on the scene, I mean, people were coming and being kind of threatening and being like, you either feed into our magical thinking or we will destroy you and all your business and you'll die a pauper or something. I don't know, but it was nutty and it took a lot to stand my ground and say, no, that's not very grounded spirituality. That's not what real spiritual awakening is. See, we've lived and, and agreed to cycle around in these, um, human lifetimes and we've set things in motion and now we're getting to a point where we're having we're having to look at what we've established yes and so it's very easy to go well no 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 we as a humanity we didn't come to this place by doing all that other stuff sure we did <laughs> sure we did and every single one of us had a contribution to history yes so part of spiritual awakening is looking at this and realizing it and going oh well time to course correct. It's not just, oh, I get to escape reality and live away from everybody who doesn't think like me. And that makes me spiritual and I'm more enlightened. <sighs> Guess what's happening? Guess what's happening? People are being forced out of those communities. Why? Sickness. And there'll be natural disasters too. So, you know, as you approach your spiritual awakening, part of the realization you might have today is that you can't get on to the next level until you take accountability for where you've been, your mindset, where your heart is, where the ego has come in and just tried to create a story as opposed to finishing out this human stuff. And I really do, I don't know that it'll happen in our lifetime. It'll probably happen in another one of our lifetimes, <laughs> right? But it is time to bring this chapter to a close. All right, so just kind of keep your, keep your eyes open, keep your heart open. Really be journaling today. This might be a really good activity to see what comes up for you. All right, so we're gonna leave it there, guys. I am sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.